Hello everybody and welcome back to Stardew Valley. What a wonderful day. Today is the first day of the night market. Yep, the 15th. It's going to be wonderful. It starts at 5 p.m. Let's get a report for the weather tomorrow. Beautiful and sunny. The spirits are neutral today, but we do have a brand new episode of Living Off the Land with Jim. We have a kitchen strong. Let's talk geodes. Geodes are hollow stones that often contain valuable minerals. A blacksmith can crack them open for you for a fee. Now, there's different kinds of geodes, and each one yields a different substance of mineral. The rare Omni geode, however, can contain every kind of mineral. Didn't know that. Did not know that. Okay. New journal entry. Good morning, Mr. Chorus. I came by to... Oh, my God, she's standing in front of me. Oh, I didn't even know she was standing in front of me. I thought I thought something was... Ha I thought I was... I don't know. What, I don't know. I, I just thought something was happening out of the game. But no, she's standing right there. I came by to ask you uh, a favor. Since you're such a kind neighbor. You see, I'm trying to train my goats to say hello. But they simply won't pay attention to me unless I have their favorite treat. Cave carrots. So, since I'm scared of the mines, I thought, well, maybe you would bring me some cave carrots when you have a chance. There's no pressure, but if you want to, just swing by my house between 9 a.m. and 5 p.m. with a cave carrot. You'll make an old girl very happy. Oh, it's happening. It's happening. <laughs> He's... We're being propositioned, folks. <laughs> Let's go get those freaking cave carrots. How about it? All right, let's check the mail. Horus, it seems like you're starting to get close with some of the townspeople. If you want to show someone that you're romantically interested, you've got to give them one of my beautiful flower bouquets. I'm selling them now for a very fair price. If you want to start a family someday, this is the first step. Well, good to know. Dear neighbor, when I'm not talk taking care of animals, I like to experiment in the kitchen. Since we've become friends, I want to share some recipes with you. I hope you like this pale broth. Oh God, another, we had three letters. I ordered too much fertilizer for the garden. I bet you can put this to some good use. Take care, absolutely. Thank you so much, Jody. This is what having friends is like, it's amazing. That's quite enjoyable. Now let's look at this broth here. It'll take forever to find it. I wonder if there's a way you can just type in broth. Pale broth, white algae, 125 energy and 56 health. That's not bad. That's not bad. Let's go grab the pail. We need to go see the mouse, the hat mouse. See if there's anything new. A brewing with him. Good morning, cows. Good morning. Such wonderful animals. Large milk. Thank you so much. Also large milk. Thank you again. Go see the chickens. Good morning, chickens. One, two, three eggs. Oh, there it is. Four. I was just gonna say, man, if you're only giving me three eggs, like I've made one of the chickens mad. How do you even tell? How do you even tell which chicken is angry? And how do you make up for it? Impossible to know. We need to remember to go to um, the crab pots. We need to take a little bit of bait with us to the crab pots tonight when we go to the um, when we go to the event. Let me go put these stones up. I don't want to walk around with. 481 stone. Uh, the retaining... Mm, yeah, I guess we'll do that. That's fine. And put that up. This right here is that maple syrup. We need to put it in the community center. You see that? So we're going to hold on to that maple syrup. We should be going in the general direction. Good morning. Of the community center. So we'll just hold on to it. And we'll come in here. And look at all that. We have bait ready. We have cheese ready. We have mayonnaise ready to rock and roll. Let's put that stuff down here. Let's put the eggs up and the milk up here. So milk, milk, 
Egg, egg. Okay. What do we do today? I kind of feel a little hollow because we don't have uh oh, we need to, we need to hold on to that. We need to put that in the crab pots. Um I kind of feel a little we don't have the mine to go to anymore, you know? Like we just don't have anything. No reason to go to the mine. Put that there, that's fine. We can go sell the cheese and the mayonnaise. Boom boom. Okay, well, let's think for a moment here. Oh, what what was that? The cave carrot things? Bring a cave carrot. A cave carrot. I know we have run across boo hoodles of cave carrots. There's no reason for us to not have cave carrots. There they are. Nine. She just wants one. All right, let's go give this to her. Let's go give her her cave carrot. Maybe maybe we'll build stuff today. Maybe we'll just kind of like go through this with a fine tooth comb and see what we can build. Maybe we'll do that. I mean, we can go back to the mine. I'm not saying we can't go back. Oh, what's this? Oh, they're having a picnic. Oh, of course. It's perfect timing that you showed up. I brought the children on a little field trip to the countryside. You know all about life in the country, right? Absolutely. Well, I was thinking, could you be my guest speaker today? Sure, I'd love to. Great. Let me just call the children over. <laughs> Did you see her yell? <laughs> I have a very special guest here to talk to you today. Our very own local farmer, Chorus. He has first-hand experience living in the countryside, so he knows all about the valley's natural resources. I surely do. Can anyone tell me what a natural resource is? Look how excited they are to learn. A natural resource is a material source of wealth that occurs in a natural state and has economic value. Very good. That's worth two star points. What a good teacher. My kid goes to a place with outstanding teachers. I mean, they're just, they're lovely people. Let's see what I'm going to talk about. Country life is all about farming. Country life is all about gathering from the wild. Hmm. I really wish there was another deal that would let us do, like, like country life is about farming, but you can also gather from the wild because that's what we do. Our blackberries. Like this thing right here, I'm gonna snag it when we're done with this. Um. So what is country life? What is country life? You know what? I'm sure the easy answer here is about farming, but let's just go. Let's just throw a curveball at the kids and let's say it's gathering from the wild. The valley is chock full of precious minerals. The water around here is teeming with fresh seafood. You'll find no better lumber south of Brappleton. Let's talk about the, the seafood. How about it? Yes, Vincent. Mr. Chorus, are you going to marry Miss Penny? Vincent, that's not an appropriate question. Behave yourself or I'll have to take away your star points for the day. Oh man, he was... Well, that's probably enough for today. You two run along and play. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> it's a lot of work to take care of these kids, but I don't really mind. I enjoy seeing them learn, and hopefully I can help them grow up to be good people. Yeah, I think Penny's our girl. Would you ever want to be a parent, Chorus? I haven't really thought about it. Absolutely. I want a big family. I guess so. It's a natural urge. No, I don't think I'll be good at it. No, the world's crowded enough. No, I don't want to be tied down with a family. Absolutely. I want a big family. 
Me too. I'm glad you feel that way. Aww. I have tons of babies. When I was growing up, man, like, we had the best Christmases and Thanksgiving. Well, I'm glad you showed up, Chorus. I think the kids had a great time. <laughs> and here I walk into the... with an egg on my head. Just to bring things down. Just to give the, the scene some much-needed levity. Is that what they call it? It's 9.40 in the morning. We have tons of time. Oh, don't eat the large egg. Go into the house. Oh, you brought the cave carrot. Thank you so much. Yeah, no problem. What, we just threw it on the ground? That's kind of odd that we just... Oh, yeah? Oh, going to... Okay. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Got purple shorts. Let's go, let's go, let's go. And we're out. Do you live here? Yes, he does. Her son's the jerk. There's a... We can inspect something? What is that? Looks like someone was chopping vegetables, but never finished. Okay. Alright, we got some... Who's the kid's room? Who's the kid's room? That's his room. There's a girl sitting there. It's her. It's it's uh Jazz. It's interesting. And then here's that other... This is Leia's house, I bet. Yoink. Oh, we're getting a cutscene. Oh, hi, Chorus. Come in, come in. I'm just working on the sculpture here. Yeah, it looks beautiful. Oh, she's an artist. Come here and watch this. Coming here and watching. <laughs> Look at her go. See that? I'm revealing the essence of the wood. Once you get past the outer layers, the true nature starts to show. It's the same with people. I actually prefer to look at, at raw, unaltered wood. Creepy. May I have a kiss? Ooh. Oh, why would they put that in the game? Okay, look. Here's If they're going to put something like that in a game, like... I, I, I don't know. Like, what's... I don't know. <laughs> It's the same with people. <laughs> what? <laughs> I, I guess, I guess she was thinking like literally smacking people with a, a, a cudgel or whatever she calls that. I first visited this valley as a little girl while on vacation with my parents. I knew I had to come back someday. This pla place has great artistic potential. Yeah. Although I have to admit, it's not easy to pay the bills as an artist. Yeah, I understand that. Why don't you have an art show in town? Why don't you sell your art on the internet? Do an art show in town. Absolutely. I'd buy your freaking sculptures. Well, thanks for stopping by, Chorus. Nah, no problem. I guess maybe we should have said do it on the internet. That's the new thing to do, right? Oh, do we have our... No, we put our, we put our slingshot up. I was going to shoot that snowbird over there. Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do. What the crap am I here for? Ah, yes. I'm going to go do that. I'm going to go give him his shorts back. It's 11 a.m. I don't know what else I'm supposed to do. Hello, young lady. Yes, it is. It's just too cold to go outside. Seeds for sale. Really? Oh, no, you don't have a single seed for sale. I don't know why you would say you have a seed for sale when you really don't. That just seems dumb, Harvey, or whatever your name is, Pierre. Oh, look at that wallpaper. It's like red. That flooring is nice. Oh, the bouquet. Urgh. Are we doing this? Are we doing this? Yeah. I think Penny's our girl. I think Penny's our girl. Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do. 
Right, I don't see the mayor. I don't. That's where George lives. I think the mayor lives down here because he has his truck out front. He's not going to be here. Yeah, I didn't think he would be here. I failed the prismatic orb thing. Robin's res resource rush. I'm putting on a little promotion just for fun. If anyone can collect a thousand pieces of wood in a week, they'll earn a reward and you can keep the wood. Calling all amateur paleontologists. I need 100 pieces of bone for my studies. Ugh. I don't think we can do a thousand in a week. It's the middle of winter. Nothing's really growing. I mean, yeah, we could put the the speed grow on things, but I just don't think we're going to do it. Hey, Pam. You got any hogs on that farm? Why? You're going to try to eat one of my hogs, Pam? We do need to get the, uh, start looking at the, uh, the updated, like the big barn or the deluxe barn, whatever it's called. Let me go here. Nope. Yep. Boop. And the sashimi we can do, and the fried eggs we can do, or the fried, yeah, fried eggs. So those two we can also do. I don't, I'm going to forget it. I am, but I shouldn't. But we can get those two done. Uh, now we get to go find Mayor Lewis. I really don't know if I'm going to quote, quote, find him. I'll see him tonight. I'll see him tonight and just turn these into him tonight. He'll be at the, uh, the night thing, I'm sure. Let's go back home and let's get the mayonnaise turned over. Get that sold. And maybe we'll do the sushi and the fried egg. We'll do both of those and then bring that back and turn it in. Prehistoric hand axe. Already got that, but thank you. We'll have to sell the prehistoric hand axe. Yoink. I really should, I, I mean, I ought to keep one on hand. I turned one into Gunther. I don't have one for me to do something with, so I ought to keep it. At least one. Hmm. Go see our girl. All right. Da, 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 Put the oil in there. Come over here and fried egg. Rip. Or <laughs> yoink, not rip. Now the sushi. Why can't we make it? We need seaweed and a fish. We need seaweed and a fish. There's a seaweed and there's a fish. Halibut. Halibut, I'm sure, is a is a is a very good maki roll to make. Or sushi, whatever. Now we need that turns in. Yeah, see how it pulsates and that pulsates. That's perfect. Come over here to this. Put that up. The mayonnaise and the cheese we sell. Mayonnaise and the cheese is gone. The bait we're gonna go tonight and, and fill that up. He's got water. All these have been watered. Yeah, things are looking pretty. I mean, the, the everything's just kind of taking care of itself, you know. Not really anything we need to do. Really. I always chop down more trees. The night market won't start for another two hours. I really do hope we bought that coffee bean, not last episode, two episodes ago. I really hope that coffee bean, when we harvest the coffee, I hope it kicks out more seeds. <laughs> I just kept thinking about that. I was like, man, we spent like $2,000 on that. Like if it doesn't work out, that's going to be such a humongous waste. Maybe we should have taken the thousand tree deal. We just did, we just did a hundred we just got a hundred wood just by doing that. Maybe we should have taken her up on her offer there. Where's that speed grow for the trees? Oh, it's plant fiber. 
And it's five each time you do it? Yeah. There we go. We'll take 12. Put that back and put that back. Take those. Put the sap up. Do we really not have any sap? Are we out of sap? There's no way. There's no way. Yeah, I was going to say, there's no way we were out of sap. There's 500. There's 500 more, even if you thought we were out. Oh. Okay, do we want to give the, the bouquet to her at the night market? Or do we want to give it to her, like, during Christmas? I mean, if we give it to her at the night market, that'll be cool, you know, because that's a... That's like a festival, you know? But if we give it to her on Christmas... That might be even better. The night market is now open. Five o'clock on the dot. I don't know. I guess we we just give it to her when we see her. All right, let's go into town. Let's turn in these two things and go to the night market. I think the night market, though, to tell you the truth, I think the night market doesn't doesn't stop time. Like, night market keeps going. I think I read that, where you think, like, oh, I'll get there at 5.40, and then I'll have the entire time that I want to do whatever with. It doesn't work that way. Like, it closes. I think it closes at midnight or something, but the idea is that you don't get all the time you want. So we're just going to run up here real quick and do I mean, we've already lost an hour of the night market. This game just moves too quick sometimes. <laughs> it will be really nice if it just slowed down, so I don't, I don't feel so anxious about going and doing something like this or like when you go into a building like this if it would stop time that way you can like think and plan your move there we go perfect all right huh. i was hitting the wrong buttons i was terrified for a second i was like why are we moving what have i done i expected the, the little uh, slime things to pop up and say something. I don't know. All right, night market. Hey, he's not at the night market. That's weird. I guess not everybody goes. Look, she's not at the night market either. Hmm. Oh, did I mess up and run away from it? No, it's, it's this way. Good. Okay. Hey, Linus. Hello, my friend. These people are travelers like me. I feel a connection, but I'm okay just staying here to listen and watch. Oh, that's cool. Oh, here, it's a submarine? Look at all these crazy people. That's awesome. They're brother and sister. That makes a lot of sense why they're hanging out there now. Okay. We're going to go ahead and give Penny our... Hey, Penny, I think you're really nice. I'm going to give you this. I'll accept this. Thank you. Good. That's good. Oh, what is this girl? She's waving at us. Hey, this is the little pig girl that comes by every now and then. Almagranite sapling. I wonder if that's the same price at, um... Surprised to see me? I trade by C2. The pig likes a good swim. I bet. Potato seeds, a cave carrot, summer spang wild, a pufferfish. Oh, <gasps> pufferfish. We need that for the, uh... Oh... Puffer fish. It's a thousand dollars though. We're doing it. We're doing it. We can turn that in. At work rug for seven fifty. That's so cool. I want that pomegranate sapling, but I don't know if that's a cheaper price than what. Oh, let's just let's just hold on to our money right quick. Okay, we'll come back. She's admiring the art because she's an artist. How cool. Famous painter. I'm selling this painting for one thousand. 200 gold. What do you say? Um, let me think about it. Think about it. What's this? This guy's creepy. He's selling a gravestone. Each day, something new. Oh, okay, so he'll have new stuff tomorrow. Nice. Um, a gravestone. We have one of these. Frog statue. Cone hat. For $5,000? Why? Parsnip seeds for 20 I feel like that's the same price. Bean starter. Cauliflower. Potato, tulip, kale. 
jazz. They're 15,000 for fireplace. Oh, there's one of the rare cards. We have that one and we have that one. Okay. Why are they selling all the seeds that Perry sells? Are they selling them cheaper? I don't feel like 50 gold is cheaper than Perry. Why are they selling them? That seems like a really weird thing to travel around and sell is seeds. Oh, what is this? Oh, it's a, it's a, a bridge. I see. Oh, oh, this might be the, this might be the frolicking mermaid. What the crap is this? <gasps> That's cool. <laughs> oh, 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 hold on to your friggin' hat. <laughs> oh my god, we're gonna wake up poor. He's stealing from us right now. He is drugging us and she is stealing us. Stealing from us. Well, good thing I spent money on a friggin' puffer fish. Oh, we, we snapped out of it. We gotta get out of here. Man, that was rough. Okay, he's selling a, a painting. He's selling seeds. See, she has a a uh, hmm, not bad. He's selling a tree that we might get for cheap. That is right. This is winter. It is dreary. But all these lights and all this fun stuff. The doctor is standing right there, Clint. <laughs> Our feast literally standing next to you. Oh, Clint. I wouldn't worry about it. Just enjoy the night. Yeah, it must be the uh, the hookah thing. Oh, hello, mysterious traveler. I can send you home for 250 No, 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 I'm fine. Thank you, though. This is so mysterious. I love it. I think it's... I think this boat is my favorite. It's so unique. Yeah, the big purple one. Too bad there's no one selling anything out of it. Oh, look at this guy. He's selling stuff. He's got like, he's like a farmer. He's like an ocean farmer. A big green cane for $200. Little green canes for $200. Mixed green and red. He specializes in outdoor decorations. A plain torch, thump torch, a clouds banner, seasonal decor. Seasonal plant, seasonal plant, seasonal plant, seasonal plant, seasonal plant, seasonal plant. Well, that's cool. Uh, we want the banner. Banners are kind of our thing. The plain torch. I kind of want that because we have a couple of places um, in the, uh, like in the shed and things where it would be nice to have more light. Um, let's just, uh, We'll do the cane, and we'll do the little cane. That's 400 bucks, that's nice. All right, what do you got here, my friend? Hello there, care for a cup of coffee? I would love a cup of coffee, thank you. Oh, you can see him make it. Nice, and he just gave us a cup of coffee. That's, that's great, does anyone see the mayor? Because I have his pants. Let's talk to the kids here. I wish I was old enough to see the mermaid show. I tell you, man, it's pretty trippy. He's taking the night off from the saloon. He works at the saloon. I think I thought Abigail worked at the saloon. I think he worked there. What is this? Hello, Captain. Yeah, I'll take a deep sea fishing tour. Absolutely. Oh, there's the depth meter, I suppose. Oh, he's gonna take us all the way to the bottom. Look at this. It'd be nice if there was like things moving around out there, like a like a fish or something. Oh, well, we're going all the way to the bottom. Oh, here we go, folks. Oh, whoops. <laughs> I threw it so far it went to the other side of the deal. <laughs> whoops.
All right, here we go. Here's our first deep sea catch. Here's our first deep sea catch at the very bottom of the ocean. What could it possibly be? Oh, midnight squid. So cool. $1,000 well spent. Oh, nice. We're moving right along. This is going to be another squid. Ah. Uh, man, this one's so, so tough. I can't believe we're going to land it. We're going to land it. Wow, I almost give Oh, you, you see the mermaid? There was a mermaid behind him. There was like lobsters and stuff out there. There was a mermaid, I swear, I saw it. I swear. There she is, right there, she swims past. It's, tw it's 12 o'clock, we need to go back. Can you take me home? Oh, that's why that guy says he'll take you home for 250. Because if you fall asleep in the road, it's a thousand. Oh, dude, we got, we got, we got to stop the, we got to stop this. You got to take me home. You got to take me home, man. <laughs> Another midnight squid. Oh no, I'm gonna be stuck here. I'm not gonna be able to get home. <laughs> Maybe if I drink the coffee, it'll turn time back. Do I go talk to him? Do I go tell him like, like take me back up? Let me go talk to him. I've used the last of my bait anyway. Let me go. Let me go tell him like, hey man, I gotta be home in an hour. Yes, take us back up, please. Thank you. My goodness, my goodness, my goodness. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! We're going to have to pay the 250 to teleport. We're not going to make it. We're not going to make it. Come on. Surface the boat. There we go. Da, 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 da. There's Willie. Willie, you're so lucky you get to go right back home. Okay. Yes, send me home. Lovely. 140. Oh! 140. 150. 150. <laughs> we did it. Oh, nice. Not a ton of money. Oh, we didn't have all this stuff like the bio. Uh, we sold all the pumpkins. Yeah. $2,000 though. That made back the puffer fish and the, uh, the banner. Oh, man. I was super duper afraid that we weren't going to make it. I was very afraid we weren't going to make it. Oh, my goodness gracious. Okay, let's just go check here. This is the second night. We have his birthday. That's, I, I call him like Rosmodaz, but I forget his name. It's like Amadeus or something. Um, Blobfish, not needed for the community center. Pufferfish is needed for the community center. Midnight Squid is not needed. And then we have our banner. Let's go hang, hang our banner up. Even though we'll have to do this again in the next episode, it's cool to do it. Banners are our thing. Lovely. Lovely. Okay. Man, what a great game. I love it. On that note, folks, uh, thank you for watching the episode. This was, was 33 minutes, so that's actually a pretty good one. I will see you in the next one, and I uh, hope you're enjoying it. Bye-bye.